The tipping point for perhaps a more concerted switch over to Vectorworks was the frustration of my other two partners with the results they were getting from the other software. They were looking at what I was doing, say, for development permit drawings, design drawings, and saying, why can't we get that from our other tools? And I said, well, it's easy, let me show you. And uh, uh, I've been introducing people ever since. The firm was founded back in the, I think the early 80s by two founding principals who've since retired. My partner Jackson became a partner back in 1986. So he's got a continuous history with the firm since then. And then Paul Hammond joined 2008 and I joined in 2013, taking out the two founders. Our office is located in Victoria, which if you're not familiar with Western British Columbia, is an island. We often get people thinking it's an easy day commute, but it's not. So we're a little isolated here. I think the environment in which we work is really critical to how we design. We work not just in Victoria, which has its own sort of unique character, but we work up and down Vancouver Island. We work in the interior of BC. We're actually doing a lot of projects these days for Indigenous clients and users, and each project has its own unique site context and unique cultural drivers that influence the design. We're, you know, that's always a, a big factor in, in how we work. The natural resources that are at our fingertips, we're inspired to use those in our buildings. You smell the fresh air, the incredible scale of trees, views of the mountains, minutes to the ocean and shoreline, trails and beaches and rocks, and it is just otherworldly. It's one of the most spectacular places on earth. We're always talking about using local products with all the wood that we have out here, large timber projects, and of course trying to be sustainable, and all those factors play into how we work out here and what we want to produce. Earlier on in my career, I did a lot of drawing, but over the course of the last 20 years, it's more of a management role, so I haven't done a lot of CAD work recently. So when Chris decided to say, well, let's start looking at the workflow, let's start looking at the products we're producing, the information we're producing, and what our documentation looks like, let's look at Vectorworks, I said, well, sure. It was a bit of a relief because you could easily get beautiful drawings in these early phases. And yes, it has the ability to carry on into working drawings using the BIM modeling. So it's quite intriguing. It allows us to eliminate other third-party graphic program tools that we would export 2D drawings into to facilitate the management and delivery of a design package. I come from the pencil and paper era. So I've seen CAD tools go from sort of helpful, sort of better than paper and pencil or ink on mylar to being vastly better. And I think when you start using CAD, when you start using BIM, especially as a new user, you can lose track of what's important to the end user of our documents. And that's part of our ongoing mentoring is to get people to focus on what's really important. For years we've been struggling with how the product looks, even though the most important part of what we do is the information we provide for contractors and clients. When we were looking at Vectorworks, I think it helped us look at things in a slightly different way to be able to simplify the documentation we do, but still providing the important information. It really helps me to be able to go into the BIM as a principal, even though I'm not actively uh, working on the model, but be able to navigate around, to be able to redline, to be able to find what's been going on, to be able to make suggestions about how to do it better. So that kind of situational awareness is very important to me. That's one of the things I love about Vectorworks. It's all in one, fully managed, has easy overlay of sheets over top of your base drawings, complete controllability, Graphic content is wonderful. We're a fairly graphic oriented industry and what we do makes a difference in terms of what it looks like. And even as we're putting out construction documents, those should look as good as our design documents in my mind. I'll say this, it's a lot easier to realize the potential of BIM in Vectorworks than it is in other tools. Everything we could do in AutoCAD, we can do in Vectorworks better. And if we can leverage the BIM side of things and have high quality outcome, then 
you know, I think we're all benefiting.